All right. What is up, YouTube? No fancy edits, no fancy clips, no doohickeys, just some raw, honest truth today. Talking about uh, the retro game collecting addiction and how it's hap how this year's been going. Uh, as a lot of you know, back in 2023, I dedicated myself to stopping buying games for no reason, for collecting basically just to own a bunch of stuff, to hoard essentially. And I've talked about my past experiences with drug addiction, alcohol addiction, and you know, having mental mental diseases as some would say, you know, depression, OCD, and obviously severe anxiety. Uh, I also have, you know, childhood PTSD, which I kind of labeled as what I believe a lot of my addiction causes were, um, specifically just as a kid, video games were my way to escape reality. So as an adult, I was trying to heal my inner kid, my inner child by buying games that I wish I always had and so forth. And I, I dedicated 2023 to stopping this and working forward to a better a better future, a better, more healthy collection. Uh, a lot of you know I purged probably two to 300 games of my collection. And most of what I have now is stuff that I really want to play or I have some kind of attachment with. Um, like as can, you can see behind me, just various things. Uh, several different console boxes and stuff like that but for the most part not very many games um most of my games now are actually put into a private collection which i have over on the other side by my tv but someday i hope to show you guys more of but yeah it was it was scary uh, you know like i said i'm gonna be raw and honest with you guys about this it was very scary just up and selling everything well most of it anyways because the worry, worrying regret and everything. Oh man, it was just, just thinking about it right now too kind of just was like, it was very frightening. Cause you know, you do, you spend all that time, those years, those months, those weeks, hunting, gathering, you know, doing all this stuff and just, you know, one day just going enough is enough by and getting rid of it. Uh, I just like I, I talked about why it was healthy for me to do this too was one before because I was just addicted to collecting it all so the more stuff I had the more stuff I wanted to get so by purging a lot of it I was able to help myself more and the other thing was it was just not right to have a lot of that stuff down here there's collectors out there nowadays that would I'd much rather have that stuff that might have more connections with it like at one point why do I need like I think I had like four to five Sega Genesis why i i had one of every kind i had you know model one two and three and then i had like two or three model twos ridiculous absolutely ridiculous i don't know why i had them uh and even just some of the game stuff around here like i remember when my youngest son would come down here having uh, a sense of worry that he might break something or put a game not back where it was supposed to be because of my ocd and stuff like that and it was just like I'm sick, man. Like that, that, that just that kind of thinking was sick. Uh, so I, I, I tried to rid myself of that. Obviously, I kind of looked more inward too, and focused on you know trying to better myself mentally. And I think that's why I've liked doing my journey so far, doing this on YouTube, because I've talked to people that said that these videos have helped them. I've talked to people that had similar experiences. People DMing me on Instagram how all these videos just kind of started making sense with them and they were able to take the necessary steps too to better their collection. Uh, you guys don't need to have a hundred copies, a hundred sports titles if you don't even like sports games. You don't need to have 50 racing games if you don't even like racing games. You don't need four copies of Final Fantasy VII. You know, if you want to have them, that is fine. That is totally acceptable. Uh, but if you just have them just to have them and you feel kind of like, it's hard to explain. Like when I looked at my collection at one point, I was just kind of like, it used to bring me a sense of uh, accomplishment, of pride. Um, and it made me feel good. 
And then after so long, I just started looking at some of the stuff and wondering, you know, I, I didn't feel good about it anymore. Um, I was struggling to buy games that I actually wanted, which in return helped when I got rid of when I purged a lot because I was just taking boxes every once in a while to my local game store, building up credit there. So when an actual game that, you know, I really wanted myself popped up, I was able to go get it and I wasn't, you know, I didn't have to feel self-conscious about being not being able to afford it because I have so much credit sitting there. And that's kind of the same it is nowadays. Um, I recently purchased the Metal Gear Solid Collection uh, Part 1 that came out for PS5. Now, if I would not have had this credit or had this money that I put away after selling all this stuff or this YouTube channel, it would have took a lot for me to actually go out and buy this game, uh, even though that was something I really wanted. You know, because I was a I'm a huge fan of the Metal Gear Solid series, and in fact, if you guys want to keep looking out for it, I'm going to be streaming every Metal Gear Solid um, this year, or trying to do as many as I can in chronological order, starting with Snake Eater. So, this was part of being able to do that, and because I got rid of a lot of stuff, I was able to afford doing that without having to, you know, take the necessary steps to work around it. Either sacrificing money on essentials and everything else. This was a this was the easiest way to do it. And now am I, am I telling you guys to go out and purge your whole collection? No, don't don't do that. But if you think you have a problem with it, then maybe you need to yeah, maybe you need to think about it. You know, I, I set up rules, I set up steps, uh, and some other stuff to put in motion so that way, you know, to kind of control it. Because one of my biggest worries was I was going to start buying a game here and there, and I was just going to start spiraling out of control again. Like, I think I got $350 credit at my local game, my mom and pop game store. Excuse me. And uh, I was worried that if I had this much credit there, that I was going to want to spend it all. And basically just buy a bunch of games that I thought I wanted for my collection. And in reality, I didn't. So, some of the rules I set in place was I can only buy games that I'm going to play. And play soon. And I can only buy games if I, if I uh, either sell one game or I beat a game. So, this kind of helps me control... Uh, what's coming in and going out so that way you know i'm not just building a backlog that i'm never going to get to because that was one of my biggest worries i had collection paralysis i've talked about that before i had all these games i didn't know what to play because my backlog was so huge that's what she said that i i couldn't pick a game out of it you know like when you get on netflix or some kind of streaming service and your selection is just so huge to pick from you end up spending more time trying to find something to pick than actually watching anything in the end. And that's what I was running into with gaming. I was There were so many games on the backlog that I wanted to play, but I didn't know which ones to pick. And by the time I finally chosen something, played an hour into it, I was not into it, and I just wasted so much time. Now I know with all the games that I have in my collection, I can just pick them up and play. I, sooner or later, you know, I can go and play them. And I will and actually enjoy them because one, I either know I really like them already, and this is a second or third playthrough, or it's a game that I've been excited for and I've been really looking forward to dive into. Uh, so, for example, right now, since I just bought the Metal Gear Solid Collection, um, I am unable to buy a game for a while now, um, especially since I want to focus on playing the Metal Gear Solid games. And even with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out right now, and stuff like that. I, I will not buy it for myself. I'm actually looking at it right now. Trying to buy a copy of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. To give away on the channel. But you know. Personally for my own collection. And for my own playing pleasure. I cannot purchase a game for a while now. And some of you are saying like. Dude that's that's messed up. You know. You can still buy games. Why can't you just stop. And that's the same thing with trying to tell an addict. An alcoholic. Can you just stop, man? Well, why don't you just just stop drinking? Just don't drink anymore. It's not that easy sometimes, guys. Uh, 
I know some of you won't understand, and some of you will understand perfectly. And some of you will say that, you know, don't don't compare this to being a drug addict and stuff like that. And I, I granted I know being a drug addict is horrible. Personally, I know. I've been there. But addiction comes in all forms and shapes, some more severe than others. But addiction in general is a horrible thing. It affects you, it affects your family, it affects everybody. It might not seem that way, but it does. People spending money that they don't have on games that they don't really need. And then when something comes up for the rest of the family, you don't have that extra cast around because you had to buy another copy of some Super Nintendo game you'll probably never play because you had to have it for your collection. <sighs> kind of went on a tangent today, guys. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this style of video. If you guys are new to the channel and have not you know, seen this kind of talk from me, uh, go back and check out some of my other videos talking about collection addiction, uh, FOMO, you know, fear of missing out and stuff like that. And if you think you have a problem, reach out and get help. Um, I, I tell everybody on this channel, if you ever want to talk about any of this stuff, DM me on Instagram. It'll be anonymous. I won't. It's not like I'm going to take your screenshots, go on here and start sharing your personal information. Everything is autonomous and we can just talk. Uh, I might not be able to give you advice because I'm not licensed, but just know that somebody is listening. Somebody has been there and you know, you're not alone. That's the biggest thing is well, people need to understand you're not alone with this situation. If you want to comment below, uh, you know, a past experience that you want to get off your chest and you're open to telling the public, then go ahead. If you want to do it through Instagram to DM me and that way no other people could see it. Whatever works for you guys. But remember, we do not have to do this alone. If you need help, just ask. And nobody will blame you. Nobody will make you feel weak. Nobody will judge you. This community that I built around this channel has been a great community. Everybody is here for each other. And with that being said, guys, I appreciate you all watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, you know, as always, stay retro, my friends. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video, guys. I hope you have a great day. Super Retro Force.